Today we're making this with this. Coming up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be opening January's premium sketch box and I'm going to be doing a demonstration on how I made this giraffe with that box. Okay, if you do not know what Sketchbox is, it is a monthly subscription box that gets delivered to your house every month. No, this is not a sponsored video. In no way, shape or form has money developed my opinion on any of these products. Sketchbox is something that I just really enjoy and I like to share the things that I really enjoy with you. So everything in this video is my own opinion and let's talk about Sketchbox really quick. So Sketchbox offers two boxes, premium and basic. I chose premium because I liked more high quality products. So the odds of me getting Copic markers or luminance pencils would be highly greater in the premium box. So that's why I chose that box. Yeah, I'm not really into that whole art subscription thing. I got you, boo. Sketchbox came through. Go ahead and jump on over to www.getsketchbox.com and you don't have to do the art subscription thing. You can totally just test out a box or they have holiday grab bags, gift cards, all of the above. You can get tons of stuff on the Sketchbox website without actually having to sign up for a subscription. Shut up. Um, no. Another thing that's really cool about Sketchbox is, is that I am following them on Instagram and they just announced yesterday that they're going to be doing a Sketchbox school. So they're going to have videos walking you through how to use the products that they send you. So that is really great and that is really something to look forward to. So if you're not following them on Instagram, you can follow them on Instagram and it's at Get Sketchbox. So if it's your first time here, I am Kelly. I do product reviews, tutorials, and tips for creative bombs. So if art videos tickle your fancy, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. If you really don't wanna miss anything, make sure you hit that bell icon so you'll get notified of all of my new videos. Let's see what came in my January Sketchbox. Okay, so let's open this up. This is the January premium box, just to let you know again. Um, okay, so the first thing we have in here is the art that comes with the box, the featured artist, and then the description of the items that you got in the box. First thing is the Sketchbox Signature Fine Liners. There's 12 colors. And then we have our trusty sketch box sticker. We have, this is the Karataki, if I'm saying that right, gold brush pen. And I was super excited to get that. I cannot wait to play with that. Um, a Copic wide marker, which was interesting. I didn't know they made them that big. Um, a white gel pen and some more fine liners. These ones are um, magnetized so they stick together and I really didn't know what to think of them. I thought they were kind of black ink but it turns out they're actually the um, the ink is the color of the casing that they came in. So that one you can see I'm showing you here. It's light blue and I'm going to make a mark on this box just for fun, because I wasn't expecting that. I really thought they were black. I thought they were black and I thought there was gonna be two sizes, um, but they were colored, so that was uh, interesting. I wasn't expecting that since I already got 12 colors. So we got officially 14 colors of fine liners to use. Um, the gold Karataki brush pen, the white gel pen, and the wide Copic marker. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything in there and then we can start on our drawing process. Okay, so I'm getting all my supplies together here. I got my Uniball uh, mechanical pencil and just a cheap graphite pencil from, I think, Pro Art. Um, so before I get too into this, um, if you guys are interested in getting your own sketch box, I will have a link in the video description below so you can check that out whenever you're ready. And I'm going to get to work on this draft. Um, 
I got this reference photo from pixabay.com. Um, I'll leave a link to their website and um, they have an app as well. So I will leave that in the video description below and you can check that out. They have a lot of great royalty free reference photos uh, available to you for free and I really like that site. Um, all right, so I'm just sketching out my draft here <laughs> and um, while I'm sketching this out, I kind of wanted to ask you guys, do you want to see more of me doing the drawing process or do you just like the the official adding the color? Like is me drawing stuff is something you want to see or not want to see? So let me know in the comments below um, if you do want to see more of the drawing aspect of what I do. I would really like your input because I am, though I'm making these videos for me and in part making these videos so I get more um, art done, I am making these for you. So if you want to see more of this kind of thing or, or not, I would really be interested in knowing that. Okay, so I'm just going to keep working on this little sketch of this draft and this um this reference photo was so funny I couldn't help but not I couldn't pass it by I it was just the way his face was <laughs> in the reference photo it was just so amusing I was like yep he's um something that I need to explore just a little bit further because I found the photo <laughs> so amusing um and another thing that I want to note is that um I have my edges taped down even though I'm working in my sketchbook and I kind of wanted to make my sketchbook a little bit more um, nice looking and have some things in a frame per se. Um, so that's what that um, that is taped off for. I just thought it would make it look nicer in the long run. Okay, so that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just drawing my little draft out and I'm not being too picky about it. Um, after doing my colored pencil reindeer slash caribou in the last two videos, I really wanted something a little looser and a little something that I can complete a little bit quicker just to kind of get back into the swing of things and kind of get over working in colored pencil because for some reason it just kind of takes a toll on you. <laughs> Um, when you do a, a big colored pencil piece and it just seems to take forever to finish and most definitely forever for me to edit and upload apparently. So um, it was really nice to do something nice and loose and experiment with a new medium because uh, as you well know if you've been on this channel for a minute you know that I don't play with markers very much and and or pins or any of the above. Um, so this was actually a really nice piece and I was, like I said, super excited to try out that gold brush pin. All right, so my sketch is officially done. I started from the bottom and now I am here. Sorry about that guys, I had to throw that in there. I couldn't resist. Um, so now what I'm doing is I'm testing out, uh, well, on another page I kind of tested out the Copic Wide Marker. And I have to say that I did not like this at all. I didn't, well, I, at least I didn't like it for what I was doing. I, um, it probably would have been better if, you know, like you were painting an ocean and doing like uh, sand or something like that. Um, I didn't think that it laid down quite, like you almost couldn't get the whole nib on the paper at one point. Like it was just really, really awkward to work with. I think if they had a wide brush nib I think that might be more interesting I don't know if they do or not I will look into that or if you know or not let me know in the comments and I will check that out but um yeah I didn't really care for that wide Copic at all not not in the least I mean like the color of it was great and it the pigment was wonderful but I did not like the the nib on that at all and now I'm coming in with a couple of the fine liners I think I'm using the dark gray one at this point and just kind of building up some shadows um, and really just playing with texture at this point because I know this is not going to be a super realistic piece, partly because I don't use fine liners and I've never used fine liners in art. I, you know, I mean, if anything, I, I would imagine something like this would be good for like a bullet journal or something along those lines. I never really thought of doing art with them. So this was an interesting piece for me to do and, um, 
surprisingly, I really enjoyed it. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did. I think, I think the plus was really the gold brush pen. It was just, obviously, that was my favorite thing to get in this box. And this is where um, I think the Sketchbox really um, kind of ups their game. I think um, they're going to do really well with the Sketchbox school. And I think this would have came in handy for me to, today because I, I don't really create art with with pens like that. I mean, like I did partially Inktober, but I feel like inking and working with fine liners is like really, really different. Um, I felt like I got the hang of ink way, way easier than I would have gotten the hang of the fine liners. So I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what kind of videos they do post um, in their Sketchbox school. I think that'd be quite interesting, especially for um, any younger person who might get this. Like, I think the Sketchbox would be so great for somebody that was in an art class in high school and just wanted to play with certain things. And then if they have the Sketchbox school to go along with it, I think that it would just be wonderful and maybe kids won't be eating Tide Pods anymore. So anyway, uh, moving on to a more pleasant subject. I am upping my contrast a little bit in this piece and going ahead and darkening um, up some of the spots um, in the giraffe's fur or whatever the technical term for that is. I'm assuming it's fur. It might be short fur, but it's fur. Um, and I'm starting to work on the other side here. Um, and I will save the gold pen for last. And you can see I'm kind of bringing in the white gel pen there to work on the eye a little bit and grab the highlights in that area. And putting some details in his ear here. I'm going to use the white um, to kind of create the fur that's kind of around um, the edge of his ear and give a little bit of glow from behind uh, with that white gel pen. Um, and yeah, I'm just kind of adding in some small details. I'm doing a lot of uh, hatching and cross hatching in this piece, um, partly because the tips are so small on these that you can't really do much else um, other than make lines. So I thought that was really interesting, partly because I don't really work that way. Um, so it was, it was a very interesting piece to do and it was definitely fun and I really enjoyed it. So. I definitely recommend getting this if you haven't tried it. I mean, even if you just want to buy a pass box just to see, you know, what you think, if you think you might like something like this or, you know, just buying art supplies in general or just retail therapy is kind of always awesome. So you can't really uh, uh, go wrong in that, in that sense of things. So anyway, um, yeah. Just working on the other eye now, and then I will be going down to work into the teeth. Um, and the teeth are really the only thing I didn't really care for in this piece, but um, sometimes finished is better than perfect. Um, like Jake Parker says, <laughs> um, I highly recommend you check out his channel if you haven't yet. I find his channel very interesting. And I will uh, go ahead and leave a link to his channel in the video description below as well. And then I'm basically just going to go ahead and finish this giraffe up here and put some... Actually, I think I'm going to add some of the, the teal colors into the background just to kind of give this a little bit of color. Um, partly because it's very, I don't know, kind of boring to me at this point. So it doesn't really get really fun until I add the... Um, the blue greens on like in the bottom part of the background and then once you add the golden things get really fun so again this was a super fun project i really enjoyed working on it and hatching and crotch <laughs> crotch cross hatching uh was really fun because i feel like i've been working in small circles forever um and it was just nice to have this quick little piece done and I really don't have too much else to say about it other than, hey look, it's a draft and it's cute and I like it and there's fine liners and ink and markers and gold ink. Oh my! So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I'm going to attempt to take the tape off so you guys can watch that. That's going to be super fun. Here's the gold. 
I really liked it. It looks better in person with the gold. It's one of those things that you kind of have to, you know, be able to see the sparkle. I'm going to take this tape off and as you can see it's framed really cool which is a really nice effect to have in your sketchbook. And then this is the finished product. I really enjoyed January's sketch box and I have a question for you. Do you get an art subscription box? If you do, let me know in the comments below what kind you get and what you think of it. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up or share it with your friends. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you next week.